like to listen one more time to the anthem in your head. I'd like to take just one more photograph before we head to bed. Hi, welcome to Carbon Farmers. Uh, this is our first video and unfortunately it's not a great day today as you can probably see. So rather than getting amongst the trees, which is what we'd normally be doing at this time of year, uh, finding the ones that need replacing, straightening up where the deer have knocked them over and all that sort of thing. Instead, today we're going to build uh, a charcoal retort. And uh, the reason we're going to do this is we've got quite a lot of sycamore here and also we've got quite a lot of ash that's died from the dieback. Uh, we have to get it out, it's all quite thin, it's not really great for firewood. So to make best use of all that timber, we're going to turn it into a very high quality, low carbon charcoal using this machine here. Uh, so what we've got here is a stainless steel rocket stove that's made from bits of exhaust. Um, who'd have a car exhaust that big? I don't know, but anyway, uh, which have been welded together by my my very clever mate Davy, and we've got a X frozen mixed multivitamin juice blend barrel that we got off eBay. Rocket stage is going to sit inside the barrel. We're then going to fill the barrel with the wood that's going to be made into charcoal. The rocket stove will get hot, the wood will heat up, it will emit gas as it heats up, the gas will go down this pipe and then start to fire the rocket stove. And so the charcoal will be made using its own carbon emissions, which will make a clean, soot-free carbon, but also a really low, low footprint uh, charcoal as well. Uh, that's the idea, if it works. Uh, we've also got uh, some handles we're gonna put on to carry it around, um, some fittings for putting on a safety vent because it's gonna get like really hot and it might explode, I don't know. Uh, Stainless steel rivets, I think aluminium ones are going to melt because this is going to get to about 600 degrees if it works properly. And then we've also got some sheet metal that we're going to case it in and insulate it to make sure that in here it gets hot as efficiently as possible. Okay, so I'm just finishing off here making the hole which the rocket stays is going to poke out of. So just um, use the hole saw to drill a hole and then cut these sort of flaps, we're going to bend those back, the rocket stave will come through here, and then we're going to put a jubilee clip around it to keep it all the way Hopefully the retort is starting to shape up and you can see how it's going to work. So we'll start a fire in here. The heat will come up through here and there'll be a chimney on top. At the moment we're just uh, building the top so that it will slide over and then clamp in place with a Jubilee clip. The wood will go in here. That's going to be made into charcoal. And then as it gasifies, as it warms up, it will force the gas down this pipe, which will come out here and it will create a roaring furnace of gas that will hopefully turn everything into charcoal. So um, once we've done the lid, we've then got to build a, a case for it, which we're going to fill with vermiculite to make it really well insulated, to maximise the efficiency of the device. And, uh, and then we'll be ready to give it a go. Um, helping me, I've got a couple of the lads that, uh, so I'm Hedy, the, um, the chief forester here, and with me is the assistant forester, Eki. 
and also helping out today a little bit we've got Wu who's the uh, beekeeper and pest controller in fact he's been pest controlling just this morning and uh, they're part of the team that, that work here with me my sons actually and uh, so there we go, we'll, we'll put the time lapse back on now and uh, hopefully you'll see it shaping up.